residents of Singlesville have already decided who's who in town. So now it's time to declare the community laws. Alrighty, let's see here. Alright, decide which five, five commandments best reflect the values of your town. So uh, let's check out the first one. Thou shalt obey the provider of the house. Obey? Absolutely. Yeah. Obey. What, what entails what? obey? What does that yes, mean? It, it means that you need to do what I say. I don't think Oh, no, so. he didn't. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. Oh, no. Well, I'm but... pay, if I'm paying all the bills, I think I should have more than just us saying. Listen, if, if, I'm, if I'm the provider, I'm not just, like, out for my, myself. I'm out for my family. I care about my family. The word obey is throwing me off, see? Exactly. <laughs> and why does it throw you off? Because I'm not obeying no man that so, folks. All right, I guess uh, that means we take that one down then. All right, then, uh, thou shall look good at all times. Yes. Yes. Just take care of yourself, that's all. Just don't let yourself go and just take, take care, care of yourself. Take care of yourself, you're right, absolutely. So what does that mean, letting yourself go? Does it mean that if, if, I, if you met me and I was skinny uh -huh. and I was fine, uh -huh. and then five years from now, I'm obese, okay. I'm not cute anymore? So, so if, no, nah, that didn't say uh, that. No, that doesn't mean your style anymore. can't be the okay. same. No way, but you know what, it's, it's not just a matter of style. You know, Perver, you had a point earlier. You said, like, <laughs> if I met somebody and, and I want to get with her and I'm hanging out with her, my goal is marriage, I don't want her to change. Right. Say she gets fat. Right. She gains 110 pounds. You know what, I'm not, I'm not into that help. anymore. You're, it seems like you're basing everything on your relationship or your marriage on looks and physical appearance. There's so much more to a person than just, hey, you're but hot, you know let's what? get married. Physical. We all have standards. You know, like personally, I don't want a size 12 or a 10 or a 13, I want, I want it at an eight. So out of all the girls here, I'm automatically outed just because of my size. Again, I you think know, it goes with back to the standards that we all individually have for yeah. where we want to date. Okay, so after all said and done, we all agree, though, that that is a keeper, right? Yes. 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 All right. Next well, one. Thou shall not have sex before marriage. <laughs> I, no, I agree with that one. I say yes. This right here, this is completely wrong because, you know, with any... <laughs> In any situation, when you get a car, you test drive it first. When you get a merchandise, you get a 30 day trial. So are you calling me a car? No, I'm just saying that. Are you saying that women are cars, basically? You got, it, you got to test drive it before you sign on the dial line and can make it committed. But then that's just basically cheapening the person. We're not necessarily because... talking about one night stands. If you're in a well, committed long term relationship, but... why is that wrong? Well, I just still, I don't again, think you're going to go and you're going to break up. You're going to go something. and you're going to say to death do his part, you're going to commit to someone, then hey, you got to be happy with them until death to his part, until the end of time. Pretty hard on women, Sergio. I, I don't think that's, that's being harsh on women. I mean, look, I'm almost 6'3", 300 pounds, but I don't want to be sharing clothes with my girl, you know? If, if, we're, if we go out and she sits down, I don't want her to get stuck in the chair. The but don't you get stuck in the chair sometimes? But I don't want her to get stuck. See? It's bad enough if I'm getting stuck. I don't want her to get stuck, too. But you see how prejudiced you are and how evil those words are coming out of your mouth? And I'm sure people say that about you. Absolutely. But that doesn't hurt when you hear that? Everybody's got a choice. I know that there's going to be ladies who will look at me and say, no, that's not for me. And that's fine. Most ladies. And, and that's cool. But and it's very hypocritical. It's very hypocritical. Look, if you found me like you this and you felt that that's something that you uh, want to work with, cool, let's you go. You can't put expectations out there that you can't put place on yourself. You can't do that. That's what but I'm you talking know what? about. I think, I think attraction is a personal thing, but sometimes how we express ourselves, especially if we are that, is like not the best thing. All right, we still had some commandments to decide, so let's see how that worked out. Right now, thou shall marry within your own race. Uh, oh, I, disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. No, I agree. I dated a guy that was outside of my race, and it did not work. Um, I think you should marry within your own race because you have cultural differences. I totally disagree with that. Love has no color, so whoever I end up dealing with or dating. I, if I'm happy with it, you all should respect my wishes. All right, so it looks like that's another one we're going to get rid of. Please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Poor for more. laughs> Remember, we need to keep five. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. so okay. Uh, by the count, we can only get rid of one more. We got thou shall not have children out of wedlock. 
Uh, thou shall not cheat. Thou shall have sex every day. Keep that one, baby. That's a keeper, right? Yeah, I think so too. For what? Baby, have you ever had really good sex? Absolutely. Like I didn't really have to good, have it. Sweating, but I don't have to have it every day. I don't have to have sex every if day. If you had good sex, you'd want it every day. You know what? If I may, I, thou shall go to religious service every week. I mean, that's. I think that's and a personal <laughs> choice. All right. So uh, looks like we agree. This is the one to go. And that makes our five commandments. Okay, so here are our five commandments that the residents of Tyrusville declared here on our wall. Um, so in the end, it came down to religion and sex. All right, we'll be right back. Up next. What's keeping you single? Men are intimidated by you because you know what you want. You have set goals for yourself. You are independent. Exactly. And right. they are very intimidated by the fact that you can make up your own mind. We are back with Tyra Singleville. And now we get to a really serious question, a very vulnerable question, where everyone judges each other and tells each other why they think that they are still single. Check it out. Our Tyraville Singles Experiment is starting to show results. The townspeople's attitudes about issues like race, sex, and physical appearance are becoming clearer. In the process, we're seeing how quickly adults will judge each other. Now the group has moved back to the park to take on their third challenge. All right, guys, our next project Take turns hearing from the townspeople why they think you are still single. All right, guys, why do you think I'm still single? I think you're still single because you, you look really quiet and reserved, like you never go out. You gotta get out of the house, meet some people. Well, I think you do get out, but I also think that you have low self-esteem. Um, I don't think that has anything to do with your size. Let's get that out there because I'm a plus size woman just like you are. But I just think that maybe if you just like put on a little makeup and make yourself even more attractive than what you are, I think that you can be able to attract a lot of guys. Okay, so I want to hear from you guys now. What do you think about me? Why do you think I am still single? Because you're too forward. You're too out loud. You're too. I'm too. You know what it is. But you gotta wait till you know somebody before you can be your true self, and that's the honest to God truth. You gotta kind of reserve yourself a little bit so you don't like offend anybody right away because I think that you're a little offensive at first. Mm -hmm. Men are intimidated by you because you know what you want. You have set goals for yourself. You are independent. Exactly. And right. they are very intimidated by the fact that you can make up your own mind and you don't need a provider exactly. to make decisions. <laughs> All right, so why do you guys think I'm single? Because you have some standards that are just not real. Yeah, I would agree Period. with that. Yeah, you're expecting yeah. a woman to obey your rules in the house, and, and that's not And be under a size eight, by and the way. And to look better than you. <laughs> yeah, you're just yeah. a little overweight, yeah. brother. And, yeah, you know. you're putting out standards yeah. that you're not able to follow for yourself. Being overweight is, it's, I mean, I guess it's just not cool, you know what I mean? So you're just not cool from just the visual, bro. Oh. So why am I single? It seems to me you have, like, you've been hurt in prior relationships. Mm -hmm. So I think that you've got this, like, woman scorn type thing where like you got this big wall up and you're just not letting anybody into it. You come off as very strong and confident and know what you want and I think that that is a big turn off to a lot of guys. All right guys, why am I single? Here's the thing, study have shown that the, in the two genders, the ones that have like are most single, right, or less desirable is the Asian man and the black woman. Asian guys are considered passive yeah. and they're not aggressive and so they're just kind of like, you know, not, not, not out there, not going for what they want. I would say you dress more conservative, like the, the type that you would attract would be like the single mom type or, or somebody that's looking for the older type. However, someone like myself doesn't have time to sit around and date or just be friends because all I have time is for the sex that I need and the physical part of it because I don't have time with my three kids to develop any kind of emotional or any kind of friendship. So Sergio, you said that Katie was not hot. How did that make you feel? Because he said it pretty harshly. I'm not sitting at home and going out once a month. I mean, I, I have a good time and I'm enjoying my life. And if I 